Okay, in this scene we're going to talk about acute tubular necrosis. And it's going to be represented by this guy over here. He's so cute. And he's actually got this tubular neck with roses. So cute guy with tubular neck with roses for acute tubular necrosis. Actually, there are two of them. And that's because acute tubular necrosis can be categorized based on whether it's caused by an ischemic cause or nephrotoxic cause. And we'll explain what that is. So let's begin with an overview of acute tubular necrosis. So acute tubular necrosis is the most common cause of acute kidney injury, at least in hospitalized patients. And that's why if you take a look at their shirts over here, you'll notice that it has the number one on it, with the sad kidney, to help us remember that it's the most common cause of acute kidney injury. Now, the cute guy is actually kind of happy, and this is because acute tubular necrosis usually spontaneously resolves, but it often requires supportive dialysis. For as we'll see soon, the electrolyte imbalances can be fatal. You might have noticed that he has these brown casts on his legs. This is going to help us remember the granular brown casts seen in honestology in acute tubular necrosis. Now let's explain what happens. As renal epithelial cells die, that's what necrosis is, they get mushed together and casted in the shape of the tube. And that's what we mean by the granular casts, and they're brown due to the necrosis. And we can see all those features over here on this guy as well. Okay, now let's talk about the difference between ischemic and nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis. So ischemic is going to take on this side over here. So in an ischemic acute tubular necrosis, it's secondary to renal blood flow blockage or decrease. And that's represented by this over here. Let's take a look at the kidney in back of him. In this kidney over here, we see an ass, you know, like a donkey, stuck in the renal artery. This ass showed up in our azotemia video, and it represents blockage of blood flow to the renal artery. This can be due to a stenosis, an embolus. It could be simply due to hypovolemia, less blood flow to the kidney. So this pre-renal azotemia results in ischemic acute tubular necrosis. So it ends up being an intrarenal problem. One more high yield point that we want to make about ischemic tubular necrosis is that the PZT, over here, and the thick ascending limb are highly susceptible to injury. And that's because they're highly susceptible to ischemia. Okay, now let's talk about nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis. So take a look at this kidney over here. There's no blockage in the renal artery, but we notice this antifreeze coolant in the kidney. This helps us remember that nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis is usually an injury resulting from toxic substances such as ethylene glycol, which is antifreeze. It may also be the result of aminoglycosides, represented by this mean guy who glides, who showed up in our aminoglycosides video, as well as this big heavy guy, I have no idea who he is, but I know he's crushing the kidney. And this helps us remember crush injury due to myoglobinuria. And one point that we want to make is that in nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis, the proximal tubulars are, par are particularly susceptible to injury. We're going to end off this video with the following. Watch the banana and the lemon. They're high up on the scene over here. Actually, the banana is not jumping up and down. Well, banana in our videos helps us remember potassium. In acute tubular necrosis, after the inciting event, there's a phase known as the maintenance phase, in which there's a risk of hyperkalemia. And that's because there's decreased renal excretion of potassium. But in the recovery phase, there's actually a risk of hypokalemia, represented by the banana going down. There remains, however, a risk of metabolic acidosis, and that's because of the decreased excretion of acid. In the recovery phase, polyuria is actually often evident, and that's represented by this water all over the scene. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on acute tubular necrosis. Stay tuned for our next video, and take care.